Once upon a time in the mountains next to the sleepy villages of Serfaus Fis and Laris, nine ladies made their way through the forest. The town awaited the arrival of the nine free ski queens with anticipation of the final challenge of the year taking place, the infamous Suzuki Nine Queens 2012. This happening is really something special. The guys from the Schneestan crew prepared a castle for the ladies so they could conquer the chateau made of snow with their skis in an all-girls event. Local freeski pro Eva Patscheider was about to get a closer look at this amazing setup but could not take part in the contest due to an injury. Good morning guys, I'm Eva Patscheider and actually it's really early in the morning and we are already here at the chateau here in Safaus Fislades at the Suzuki Nine Queens. The Schneestern boys are already working hard to get the takeouts ready to get the castle checked in. So I'm really excited how that turns out. And yeah, then we're pretty much ready to welcome our queens after the Euro X Games. So watch, watch all of this, it's gonna be so awesome. To make an obstacle out of snow that looks like a castle was Freeski pro rider Nico Zasik's idea. He decided to invite the best athletes, photographers and film crews from all over the world. The Nine Nights event was born. After the success of the event, Nico and his friend and European Open champion Virginie Fevre from Switzerland founded the all-female edition, the Suzuki Nine Queens, today in its second edition. Hello, welcome to my castle. I'm Virginie Favre and we're here in Zerfaus Fislades for the second edition of the Nine Queens. And here are the Queens for 2012. I think Nine Queens is a really unique event because we have some of the best filmers and photographers from all over the world documenting the progression of women's freestyle skiing. I think Nine Queens is super special because they build a jump that's perfect size for us and all the girls just get to shred together and everybody's pushing their limits. A bunch of really good skier ladies hanging out for one week, being creative, being versatile. I like free skiing because everyone can have their own style. You can do something different every day express yourself in a unique way and it's a really special sport for having its own distinct style. Free skiing for me is being out in the nature, see a lot of different places and really enjoy myself together with friends. I just love to kind of push my own limits and, and see what's possible for me and I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie so I like to get a little crazy. I love skiing in general and yeah, I mean it's just nice to just do what you want and express yourself while jumping and get some air. The Nine Queens event is absolutely amazing. It's so innovative for women skiing. We can come out and just be inspired by each other. It's just nice that there are only girls in this event and we have the chance to film and shoot together. I'm just very grateful to ski with the world's best female skiers. The castle was ready and so were the eight free ski pros and one video qualifier, Evelyn Bain, who were all about to put the amazing chateau to the acid test at the sunrise session the next morning. I'm so tired, <laughs> but it's a beautiful morning. The sun is shining, beautiful sunrise. It's so great to be out here. Definitely worth it to get up so early. 
It's always great being in the mountains when the sun's rising, like it's like no other experience and I mean not many people around the world get to experience it so I feel lucky to be out here. So the jump is perfect. I'm really psyched to see all the girls throw down this week. I think it's going to be a, a very progressive week for uh, women's free skiing. We'll let the queens jam on their brand new castle and come back for our next episode to see more from this spectacular event. <laughs>